So the threat from the CCP is a far more beyond the balloon. It's inside the federal government agency. So as America, are you shocked by this? Personally, no, because I've been following this for years. I know what they did to the Falun Gong, and I think that it's a, a much deeper problem that people understand. Uh, the balloon was just a symptom yeah, absolutely. of the corruption in our country. Yeah, yeah. So not only the balloon, but also um, the news has broken out that even uh, members of the U.S. Congress have been bought out by the CCP, including the famous Eric Swawa. He slapped with the CCP agent Fan Fan, and there were also news breaking out about Judy Chu. Uh, she's the first Chinese-American congresswoman uh, serving this country, and uh, there are probably more. But these people have not been indicted or pled guilty but there are people who have been ple uh, pleading guilty. That is George Hagenbotham. He was um, a DOJ employee. He was working for Department of Justice as the senior congressional staff. He walked into the CCP's uh, embassy in Washington, D.C., took tens of millions of dollars and agreed to lobby on behalf of the CCP to return Mr. Mao's school back to China. And this also applies the same scheme involved two former RNC power broker, Elliot Brody and Stephen Wynn. Stephen Wynn is the casino mongo. He got the business license from the CCP to run ca casino business in Macau. And uh, Elliot Brody also violated the foreign agent registration in order to lobby on behalf of the CCP to return Mr. Mao's school back to China. You don't hear this story from the mainstream media because the mainstream media have been censored and controlled by the CCP. Well, if you think about it, if you're the CCP, how are you going to hurt the United States? That you do it from within. You pay off people in elections. You give lots of money to the NBA. And the NBA doesn't, you know, LeBron James, they don't do anything about it because they're going to lose a lot of money. So. It's actually cheaper for them just to, you know, give Hunter Biden billions of dollars or, or, or Joe Biden is 10 percent than it is to attack us offshore. People don't understand it's coming from within. It's not uh, something that I wouldn't worry about the balloons. I worry about why people are being paid and what are they being influenced to do. So exactly the same question I would ask all the talking heads and political pundits. When you're blaming the CCP for purchasing the U.S. farmland near the military installation, why not asking who are selling America's farmland to the CCP? Who allowed the Confucius Institute to come to the U.S. campus? And who allowed the CCP to, to steal uh, intellectual property and steal billions and billions of dollars from the Wall Street. So these are the very questions we ask American uh, people to think about it because Amer it's America who have empowered and enriched the CCP and to allow the CCP rise to the power. And now it's America's responsibility to defund the CCP.